This video is actually pretty overdue. I wanted to make this video ever since I got Rapashi. Rapashi right now, she is sleeping pretty soundly. So here's a video of Pashi eating a watermelon. All right. That's it for the video, guys. I'm pretty sure you guys are all convinced now. That was one of the cutest things you ever did see. No, okay, so why is the Crested Gecko the perfect pet for you? I'm not here to convince you to get a Crested Gecko. I'm here more so to tell you why I decided to get a Crested Gecko myself and why I think the Crested Gecko is probably the best pet slash pet reptile to own for me. The thing is, please keep in mind, I don't have like a stake in Crested Gecko like stock. I'm not invested in Gecko coin. I'm not pumping and dumping here. Like, I have nothing to gain if you decide to get a Crested Gecko yourself. But I do believe that there's a bunch of people out there, like myself, that might benefit from this information. Maybe you're thinking of getting a reptile soon and you don't know which one. You're not sure which one because you've never kept any. So I've kept multiple reptiles myself. I've also worked in fish stores and pet stores that had multiple reptiles, including snakes, water dragons, bearded dragons, turtles, chameleons, Crested Geckos, other miscellaneous geckos because they don't matter as much. And why not throw it in there? arachnids like tarantulas and out of all of these i went with the crested gecko and the reason isn't something like because i find them the most awesome or because they're so pretty or because they're such a good host for your youtube show the reason is actually a bit more nuanced than that because i am now an adult so see it did not take me a short amount of time it actually took me my whole life until now to realize what is it with pets that i want and i really like the point i'm about to make myself <laughs> which is that, you know, pets don't get the option to choose their owners, but the owners choose the pets. So if you're gonna own a pet, you, you better do it well, because they didn't choose you. They had no say in this. And it still haunts me to this day how many mistakes I've made and what kind of like pets I thought I needed or really wanted, and then I didn't. I'm gonna pull a few statistics out of my butt right now that I don't, it's not proven. I didn't even see it on the internet anywhere, but I feel like 60% to 80%, <laughs> it's just anecdotal evidence, I guess, of kids are out here begging for a pet and most of them th that 60 to 80 percent will you know care for it and really love it for the first week two weeks month maybe even a year but at some point they're gonna grow out of it and once they do oh boy it's over the parents take over and then it's just a downhill steep downhill from there this happens with bettas it happens with reptiles that's why you see there's that's why go herpings emerald scales exist okay people like that why did i have a little accent there i've learned to not feed my urges to care for a small cute little helpless thing because of how cool i initially think it is or how much i initially think i need to have it in my care more and more i find myself as i become a more responsible adult i hope so like if you're a kid watching this it's okay everybody makes mistakes but if your parent watching this maybe take it more to heart what i'm saying and see if your kid is doing this and try to steer them in the right path so that they don't have to go through the awful experiences i have so yeah now instead of justifying it at the beginning like oh I really like that reptile or pet. I'm going to get it straight away. I deliberate on it, first of all, sleep on it for a long time. And then I mentally prepare myself for the years to come because these things live decades. You really want to be envisioning yourself taking care of it 10 years down the road. And it would be much appreciated to these pets if you do. And that is what makes the backbone the foundation of why I think the Crested Gecko is the best pet out there. Because when we say the best pet, we always mean the best pet that you like, not the best thing for the pet that you might purchase. And I think it should go both ways, 50-50, okay? I'm staring at all these new beta owners dead in the eye. No, don't look away from me. Don't, no, no. Okay, so that's the main reason we got that out of the way, but I want to explain why this is with the crested gecko and everything. So with like bearded dragons and leopard geckos and a lot of other pets, feeding is probably where it gets the most hassle -y. not to mention cleaning up after big poopies. And of course the heat and the lighting, it could be a gatekeeping sort of feature in trying to keep these animal. And for some people, the gatekeeping is so high, it's priced so high that some of these features are neglected. Maybe they don't get a UVB for a bearded dragon, a juvenile bearded dragon growing up. Maybe they didn't get a UVB for that. Do you see the problem? Metabolic bone disease, hello. I had a coworker in PetSmart dead ass tell someone straight to their face, a juvenile bearded dragon does not need live crickets or even mealworms. They can just grow up eating those colorful little pellets. I almost 
crap my pants. Why would I have a surprise bowel movement as a response to that? I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe I should go see a doctor. Anyway, the point is, a lot could go wrong. You bet your sweet dollar per gallon Petco sale that many parents are not willing to give that much cash to their kids just because they want a little reptile. You know how much a light fixture costs? You know how much heating costs? They need heat lamps, bro. Them bearded dragons? And they grow massive. Nine times out of ten, people who are saying I'll upgrade later never upgrade their tank. So they're just crested geckos. What I'm trying to say is that their barrier to entry is actually very low. They do not need that much live food. Oh yeah, don't get me started on keeping crickets in the house because that's what you need to do if you have cricket hungry monsters like bearded dragons. It's a little better with leopard geckos, but leopard geckos still eat way more crickets than a crested gecko would. Some cresties don't even like live food as much as you want to give it, but you should always try in its lifespan because sometimes their diet behavior, um, diet preferences change. So a crested gecko that didn't like live food a year ago might like it more now or vice versa. Rapashi has kind of always, at least until now or at this moment still, only liked the powdered stuff, but most cresties will like a mix of the powder stuff and actual live food. Not to the level, not even near the level of bearded dragons. Why are bearded dragons being pushed as the best beginner reptile? It sh that should never be. They're not beginner friendly at all in any way, shape or form. Okay, this is getting so off topic. Crested geckos are also a good size. Like you don't probably don't need to upgrade your 25 gallon vertical tank if you got that from the beginning because one crested gecko can fit in that. And you should really be just keeping one crested gecko in its own enclosure unless for mating reasons or breeding reasons in which case you probably don't need this video because you probably know more than more crested geckos than i do the other thing is they don't even need a uvb this is highly contested but trust me they do not need uvb if they are on a complete gecko diet because the rapashi or pangea brands they take that into consideration the only purpose for uvb is to get vitamin d3 into their bodies to be able to absorb calcium so that they don't get metabolic bone disease but complete gecko diets have both vitamin vitamin D and calcium in the exact best amount. Like a bearded dragon's heating requirements and a leopard gecko and those similar kind of reptiles, it's kind of like having 10 fridges going at once. Like, Are you really going to be okay with that much electricity bill? <laughs> I just want to illustrate two more-ish and then we'll be over with, okay? So bear with. The crested gecko does not need or require your interaction. They're perfectly fine being alone, left alone to be sleeping by the day and jumping around from branch to branch at night. It'd be great if you gave them some regular interaction, but it doesn't really affect them all that much. In fact, don't handle them too much. It has a contrary effect. Coupled by their low care level, misting in the morning and at night, if you have a bioactive enclosure, the moisture retains really well and you don't have to clean up their poop. So I definitely recommend bioactive. This low requirement for interaction and for care is what is going to set the Presta Gecko aside in terms of favorability for someone like me in the selection of reptile pets. Because once again, we're not only seeing or taking into account how much you want that pet, but how well that pet is gonna do if you pick it. I know with a very high amount of confidence that I'm going to treat Rapashi very well even in 10 years from now. Now if I got a more care intensive pet in addition to all my fish tanks and all the other things I cannot guarantee that I will be able to give it its best life even 10 years from now. Hence why I didn't get a more care intensive pet. So because of these reasons it's why I think the Crested Gecko is the best pet for me. Chances are if something is true with me, there's going to be a lot of things that are true for a lot of you. So hopefully you vibe with me on this and hopefully this made you decide, okay, yeah, I want a Crested Gecko or nope, that's definitely not for me. Definitely didn't agree with anything he said. Whichever the case, I do hope this video did help you make up your mind a little bit and not left you more confused. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe for more. If you have questions and or other topics that you want me to cover, please put them in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the comments and in the next video. And don't forget to get your hands wet. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest. No tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal. Black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence. Gang violence. No cap, that could be fat. She wanna clap. 81 Fahrenheit. My boys get that whap. Put it on my tap. Three to one ratio. Breeders on the map.